When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Hmm. This popular quote is from none other than Sherlock Holmes. Yes, it is. And to celebrate National Sherlock Holmes Day that happens on Monday, we have the real-life Sherlock Holmes in studio with us, performer Colin Cloud. Hello. Colin, welcome Thank in. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, we are amazed that you are here. I can't believe it's taken us so long to get you on this couch. Uh, you're doing the show Limitless uh, over on the Strip along with Shin Lim. Uh, yeah. You guys were just a hit on AGT. Thrilled to have you. What you do is so psychological. Tell us about the show. Yeah, so basically the show Limitless is myself, Shin Limits, tells the story of his life, his journey through magic. I'm there as sort, sort of the narrator of the, of the show, injecting my backgrounds in comedy and criminal profiling. So mixing that together wow. to a, a, a bizarre combination, <laughs> I'm aware. Uh, but mixing that in with his amazing artistic card magic to create an experience that's very much unlike any other show currently in Vegas. Mm. That is amazing. Now, how did you become known as the real Sherlock Holmes. So as a kid, I became fascinated with the, the book, right? And I actually in, initially thought he was a real person. I read them like this guy existed, and I would flick through, find all the, the cool stuff he could mm -hmm. do. And uh, I've, I think I was eight when I realized he didn't exist, and it was like, you know, bubble burst, you know, no Santa type moment. I was like devastated, but by then, the bug had bitten, and I thought this is what I want to do. I was interested in science, psychology, went to university. I got accepted at 15, started at 16, wow. so pretty young. And uh, yeah, learned about stand-up comedy, mixed this all together, and have been traveling the world ever since. We love it. You're so unique. Of course, uh, you were recognized nationally on America's Got Talent. Yeah. Uh, that was really exciting. Uh, that's just one of the, the great things about your career, though. So Sherlock Holmes was part of your early inspiration. Um, and now it's intimidating, I have to tell you, to be in front of a mind reader. Mm. I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> yeah, no, be, be yeah. very afraid. No, don't. Uh, you're, you're very safe, I promise. Uh, no, nothing I do is psychic. It is all very much psychological. I've learned ways of getting people to give off what they're thinking without realizing that they're doing it uh, to sort of replicate as best I can the Sherlock Holmes skills, which is where I've, you know, cool. claimed the title. Well, we, we got your inspiration, where it all came from. Yeah. So how has your career evolved over the years since that original inspiration? I mean, to begin with, I was very shy as a kid, very reserved. So to now be on stage for a thousand people every night in the Mirage is crazy, right? Uh, but that journey, I think, has, has gone from purely wanting to be a scientist, using these skills to help the police, which I did in my fourth year of university for a time. Uh, but, but then wow. realized being in a lab all day was not really for me. And I was already on stage a little bit by then. And thanks to things like the Edinburgh Festival, the West End, Broadway shows, it seems to just have exploded. And it, I need to pinch myself every night when I realize I'm on stage, you know, on the Las Vegas Strip. Absolutely. So a lot of your work is, is close up, and I think you're going to work with Jessica and well, I yes. right now. So, so be, <laughs> right, I, I asked you to write down a random three-digit number. Do you have that with you? Don't, I, let, don't let anyone see it just yet. I do. But you have it right there. I do. Um, so like I said, it's all about getting people to give off what they're thinking. So right now, uh, so I know how you think. Hold your hands out like there's a keyboard beneath you, your beautiful nails here. Uh, imagine <laughs> there's a keyboard right here. Okay. Think of the name of your favorite book. Mine's Sherlock Holmes. Think of the name of your mm -hmm. favorite book, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't move your fingers. Imagine typing the letters in the book, okay? okay. So don't. <laughs> Move, okay? okay, so there's an O near the beginning, yes? Yes. Yeah, okay, <laughs> and an M. Uh, go to the yeah. second word for me. Think of the first letter. Is that a B? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, <laughs> perfect. Just in your mind, just think about any letter in the middle of the second word. Is that an R you like yes. for there? Yes. Perfect. Okay, put your hands down. Okay. Is your favorite book, you think, is it something borrowed? Yes. Yes, okay, <laughs> amazing. So now I know how you think. <laughs> Do me a favor, don't say it. Think of someone that you know and think of their birthday for me, but don't say it, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Just think of it. I, I would do yours, but I don't want people thinking I've researched or, right, or something right. crazy, but think of this person's okay. birthday, okay? Sherlock mm -hmm. Holmes was amazing at finding connections. I have some of the most commonly thought of numbers here. Yes. And you were thinking of a random number. I was. Yes. yes. For the first time, and I can't change this, I've got it here. Tell us, show us, what number did you write down? What did you go for? Let's I see. Can show yeah, everybody. please now do. I chose 111. 111. Annoyingly, I don't think, uh, these are the most common, um, but there are like three ones kind of touching. Yes. Uh, he, uh, you're not really buying that though. Uh, okay. 111 you said, yeah? Yes, correct. Which is interesting, right? Because if we actually look at the top line for a second, 1 plus 18 is 19, add the 27, add the 65, it is 111. Also, not only that, the second line, if we take 29 minus 1, it's 28, plus 20 is 48, add the 63, 
is 111. 28, 66, 17, 0, 111. 19, take away 2, 17, oh is 47 plus 64, 111. Not only that, everyone watching throughout the day, please take the time to add up this line, this line, this line, this line, all your number, 111. <laughs> Even the middle four squares, middle four corners, the diagonals, no matter what way you add this up, it will always be 111. But not only that, Sherlock Holmes wasn't just great at calculating situations like this, he was great at putting things together. What's the birthday of the person you're thinking of right now? Can I say it? Out, no, out, yeah, yeah. out loud. Uh, it's January 27th, yeah. 1964. Which is interesting because if you look at the four corners, January 27th, 1964. Oh my God, oh my God. Gosh. <laughs> The exact birthday of the person that you are thinking of, my gift to oh you. Oh my God. Colin Cloud, you can see him on stage uh, with Shin Lim. For more information, you can get your tickets. The show is limitless. It's at the Hard Rock Hotel Casino Las Vegas. The website, hardrockhotelcasinolasvegas.com. That was oh amazing. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.